So if you're not happy with that, just probably increase this to a seven or whatever. Up to you. It should bring him down faster. But float now and why this is used to um, uh, this is used to um, see which way the uh, the play is facing the object angle. So you find out which position he's facing so that we can move him towards that direction. Okay. Uh, so now we got to reset these here, and the reason why we do that is so that once we press things and we're no longer pressing them, the player doesn't keep moving. So you know, so you've got to reset the um, the movement back to nothing if it's nothing's being pressed. So now we're going to start the keys here, key state big S. Um, so if the player is pressing F, right, we want him do a few things here, and now you'll see that this boolean here, if moving this boolean, I only had to do this because um, Dark GDK doesn't seem to be very good at capturing um, multiple key states at once so that's my experience anyway and uh, so I kinda did moving to find out if forward or backwards being pressed so VX so if he goes false then you move him in a specific way so VX minus v, uh, DB cos now this is more angle based stuff which I'm not very good with but I kinda know how it works so it's a little bit difficult and then on this one similar right? so VZ and then VZ and then you be sine instead sine okay so that's that there. Now, if forward's not being pressed, you want him to move forward, just straff to, to left or right, in this case left. So you want to go, let's put this back in. Um, no, actually, that's if moving equals false, that's the normal speed. This is the one where, so if he's pressing forward or backwards, you want him to move very slow, with a little, just a hint to the right or to the left, because otherwise you move really fast, and both speeds would just go on top of each other. Um, but basically you just do divide by two instead you can do by less to make him a bit slower but it doesn't really matter too much so this is when you press right so this is just going to be the opposite of the first one so what you do on this one um, yeah I made a mistake here so do a plus here guys uh, that's what you get for copying and pasting you risk mistakes um, so you got on this one just literally reverse what that one has so plus here plus there Okay, so that's so this is for right key. Okay, 32. Just gonna put right quickly here. Just letting you know. Don't don't want it to get too confusing. And left. I don't do comments as well, but you know, kind of have to sometimes. Um, so this one here is if forward. So this one's gonna be if DB key state. Um, and and running equals false so if he's pressing forward and he's not running so if he's not running that means shift isn't being pressed and therefore um, you move him at normal speed nothing special so moving equals true so now we know that he's moving equals true now if running equals false no equals equals false then you do these two so what we do here is you go db sin sine whatever and then you put db cos here on the second one and you do times 2.5 so times and you times 2.5 so that's the speed at which at which the player walks forward alright so if you want to make him faster on normal walk increase that but uh, I'd recommend you leaving that for the running so vx equals vx plus and that will be a plus as well okay so there, D because saying Y times okay. I'm sure I'll make a mistake with this because I keep copying and pasting. And I'm eventually going to screw something up. But anyways, so else if now this is if backwards is being pressed, then you go else if key state key state because you don't want forward and backwards being pressed at the same time. So you want to go backwards. Um, so if backwards is being pressed, okay, then you want that one exactly the same right actually just copy all that because moving equals true also and all you want to do is you want to do um, 
change the pluses to minuses because you're going the opposite way and you want to change that to a 2.2 in my opinion because you don't want the the player moving just as fast backwards as forwards because that isn't too realistic so now a final one I think it is else if running it's false moving equals false Okay. If running equals, you can try and see why I put that function there. I can't quite remember. Uh, but basically, uh, here I'm just going to copy this one. Copy the one that goes forward because this is for our running now. If um, DB key state 17, and and right, key DB key state um, 42. Now 42 is shift, guys. Just letting you know that. Um, so if shift and forward are being pressed then what you want to do is you want to you define running as true okay so get rid of that define running as true um, and you want to move him forward at quite a speed so you want to go to something like 4.2 and just just a bit a fair bit faster than what he usually goes at which is 2.5 so you define so if these keys are being pressed otherwise if they're not being pressed then running obviously equals false so false we need to do that okay so that's that um, and now the next bit we're doing is for collision see this is the bit I told you about is a bit boring um, but th you definitely have to do this if you want the player falling down properly and so on so float to X and to make sure he doesn't bump against um, walls and then be able to move through them you want him to hit the walls and stay you know where he is so equals old X plus VX um old y y y um actually z z z y so y uh, yep that seems fair to me and then the next bit now this is going to be a little bit complex i'm not 100 percent sure what these things do but i kind of have an idea so where i can i'll try and explain to you because this is the bit that kind of had to copy because it's um, from Sparky's collision code and it's fairly difficult to understand. So anyways, this first bit, from what I can understand, stops you from falling through the floor. So, old, um, one being the map here by the way, map, this is old x, old y, and then old z, and then old x again, and you got old y, Plus, this will be I find a bit a little bit difficult because it's fairly hard to understand. But <coughs> if you do download the final version of it, it's fully commented, and you know if you want, you can take a good read on it, and you you should be able to understand it. <coughs> and that I think is done. Yep. Okay, that should be right. So this bit. So if collide, this is checking if the player is colliding with the ground, okay, the ground below him, that is, because you got to do one for both. So if collide is bigger than zero, so if he's touching the ground, then you go float ny equals sc get collision normal. So apparently this is finding out how flat the ground is, okay. If db abs, and from what I understand, this function here, db abs, is used to find out the positive value of a negative number. So if it was a minus minus four number, it would return a four. I think that's what it's supposed to do. Not hundred percent sure, but I'm sure I read up on it. So old y equals sc get static collision y. Okay. So else, so if collide does not is not greater than zero, so else, you know, this is going to be a fair bit of code. X equals X minus old X Z. I think this is if um, it detects a slide, so or if you're a steep in a steep place. So that's for those of you that are interested in terrain. So we've got to got to have the code here anyway. So if you do decide to use the terrain as your map, then it should work fine, hopefully. Old x equals sc get collision slide x. Um, so, and then you do the same for the other two. So, I recommend you copying it because too much trouble.
um, old Y, old Z, um, and you got that. There you go. That's those done. And then you just need to go X equals X plus old X, and then you go Z equals Z plus old Z. No, yep. There you go. Made a mistake here, guys. Z equals Z minus old Z is what it is. So um, X minus old x and then you go z equals z minus old z and then you go down here x equals x plus old x yep th this seems right to me if it's not we'll find out but um we go if ny if the ny is greater than slope ground equals one so this means that a uh, player is touching the ground okay equals one that means we're going to allow him to jump okay vy equals zero now else, if he's not touching the ground, if he's not great, the NY's position isn't greater than slope, then he's not touching the ground. So we're going to go ground equals zero, and we don't allow him to jump. So if NY is smaller than minus slope, uh, then VY equals gravity. I'm not too sure what this does, but I'm sure it does something decent. So else, now, this else I think is for... Yeah, so else, so if collide... So make sure you do this in the right place. So if collide, so else, if it's not greater than zero, okay, then you want to say old y equals old y plus v y. And then you want to ground equals zero, so he's not touching ground. And in this case, the player is not touching the ground, so we're going to make him fall. Okay, so it just means there's nothing below him. So if now this next bit will be used to um, bring the player down when he jumps, okay? So it's pretty useful as well. Let's keep my computer for the win. Equals equals one and jump timer is greater than zero. Then jump timer minus minus. So we want to take the m the timer away. So if ground equals one, it's turn. Let's have a look at this, Chris. No, apparently, actually, I was wrong. Sorry about this, guys. This causes a pause between each jump. Okay, so when you jump and you fall down, um, you give the player a few, a uh, few seconds, or I think about a second, for, and then allow him to jump again. You don't want him jumping, you know, constantly. Sphere slide group. You want to try and make the the gameplay as normal as possible. So, anyways, this bit is to check uh, horizontal collisions. See, uh, we just did the. And we're nearly done, guys. I guarantee on the control of the character. Cause, like I said, this is the only boring part, in my opinion. Um, so this is to check um, that the player isn't hitting any side walls. So it's horizontal collision um, uh, movement. Um, so then you've got old Y, and then you got old Z here. X, old Y, and then Z, and then radius. Zero. Okay, so I think I didn't miss anything out. Oh, slide. SC sphere slide group. Yeah, made a mistake there. But basically, that right. should be it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to say, just like we did above, if collide, so if he's hitting the wall, if collide is greater than zero, and just similar like uh, like we did above, SC get collision slide X. 